Hey guys, Harrison here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to turn any object, and I mean any object from your house to your car to yourself into a solid metal replica. I'm using some really cool techniques I'm surprised most people don't actually even know about and you can do some really awesome things with it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So to start off, first we have to create a 3D model of our object that we want to replicate. So in this case, I'm using this Big Mac, which is um, very disappointing looking. Um, so <laughs> I don't think the model is gonna come out too good, but we'll give it a shot. And this technique is called photogrammetry. So by using a combination of photos on my phone, I can generate a three dimensional model of this Big Mac. And then through a couple other processes, we'll be able to turn that into our solid metal Big Mac. Okay, so now I got the Big Mac set up on this board. I swear that is not throw up um, That's from a previous project. But now we have gotta take a bunch of photos at a bunch of different angles all around this Big Mac. And that will allow us to use some software later to 3D model. So the software I'm using is called 3D Zephyr Free. And I'm going to go ahead here and select the photos I took at the Big Mac. And there they all are. This shows all the settings of the camera and whatnot. Just going to click Next. Some more general settings. Just click Next. And then right here I'm going to run the program. And this will generate a sparse point cloud, which is what you see here. And there is the outline of our Big Mac. So now I'm going to generate into a 3D model by using the 3D model generation button. Just click next through some of these settings and I'm going to go ahead and let this run. Here we got our final 3D model. As you can see it picked up some of the paper towel and some of the rocks, but we'll go ahead and cut that out. Okay, now we got it cut out. We got to fill it up because as you can see the bottom is still hollow. So I'm going to go up here and just click the fill holes button right down here. And this will go ahead and fill in our object so it's a solid piece that we can print. So as you can see, it's a complete filled object now. All we have to do is texture it and export it as an OBJ file, which we can then 3D print. Now that I got exported to Creality Slicer, all I'm gonna do is go ahead and slice it. Now that it's sliced, as you can see, it's gonna take about an hour and a half to print, and I'm gonna go ahead and export this to my 3D printer. It is coming along nice. See, you've got some of the lettuce, part of the buns coming up. And yeah, it's getting there. There we go, it is done, and that is awesome. It came out really nice. So let's go ahead and take this off the bed. So our Big Mac is done, and it actually came out pretty good. You can even see the sesame seeds on the bun. So I think this will come out really good for the cast. So let's go ahead and set this up to do a lost PLA cast. Now we have to add a spur to our part and this is where we will pour in our molten metal. So I'm just gonna hot glue down this piece of styrofoam and that is where our molten metal will flow into our cast. So next I'm gonna take this stainless steel cylinder. This is from an old thermos. And I'm going to seal off one end with aluminum foil just by placing it flat and wrapping it up and around. How to keep the aluminum foil steady on one side, I'm just going to wrap it up with some electrical tape and this will just keep the aluminum foil in place. Okay, so the investment we're gonna be using is a mixture of one part plaster of Paris to one part mixture of sand. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these to a big beaker. add our play sand and now we got to give it a nice good stir and make sure it's all evenly mixed so now that we got a nice even mix of our plaster of Paris and play sand all we got to do is add some water until it gets a little bit runny okay our investment is all mixed up and as you can see it's a nice uniform mixture and consistency which is just what we want now we got to go ahead and add it to our mold so I'm just gonna take and fill this mold up So I am <laughs> very retarded and forgot to hit record when putting our part into our investment. But all you gotta do is just take the part you're wanting to mold and kind of shimmy it down into your investment and just make sure it doesn't reach the bottom. 
right there should just be about perfect. And now I just gotta give this a couple hours to cure and I'll come back to you guys when that is done. So I'm gonna talk about this a little bit, why it is hardening, so I can give you an idea of what exactly is gonna go on to get from this to our solid metal part. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna place this in the foundry and since this is just styrofoam and PLA plastic, it is going to burn out under the high temperature. And that is going to leave a void in the exact shape of our styrofoam and our 3D printed Big Mac. So once that's there, we can let it cool and then go ahead and pour molten metal in that chasm that it left. And that chasm is the exact shape of our 3D print and styrofoam. So our final product will be a solid metal Big Mac. So pretty simple process here. Um, it can take a bit of tries to get it working properly because sometimes it's not always gonna work good. The investment will crack and things like that. But hopefully this will come out good. So let's go ahead and throw this thing into the foundry now that it's cured. You're gonna wanna remove the electrical tape and aluminum foil first. While our investment is burning out, I'm going to show you guys one more technique I'm going to use to make sure that the final cast is really good. So if you're familiar with normal casting, you know you got to add a lot of vents on your object to make sure that all that air gets out and you get a good cast. Because if not, air gets trapped and you'll get bubbles in your cast. So this helps alleviate that. Now, because the investment we use is very porous, right, air can freely flow through the investment. So the idea behind this is, this goes to a vacuum line here, and it's just a rubber plate. Our investment goes right on here, and we pull a vacuum on it. So that will draw any of the air inside the investment out and pull the metal to fill the voids. So this will make sure that the final cast is really good and really sharp looking, so we don't get a bunch of bubbles and stuff. And all this is is just a rubber mat on a thin piece of metal and this 3D printed stand, and all I do is a little copper tube that connects to my vacuum pump, and that's all there is to it. So very simple, and it works really well. And that's also why I use that stainless steel cylinder that goes around the investment, because we don't want air drawing from the outside. We wanna make sure that most of the air is drawing from inside the void. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. And I'll come back to you guys when that is done burning out. Now we gotta throw this aluminum in there and this is what we're gonna be using to backfill our investment. Okay, should be ready. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding a little bit of water, start breaking and cooling down the mold. Oh, it seems like it kinda of just blew itself apart right there. <laughs> And it's another one of those beetles that just flew into the water. They're stupid. Okay, I guess I'll rescue him, even though he's that stupid enough to just fly himself in there. Come on, get out of there, buddy. Ah! Okay, never mind. He just came at me. Look at that. It is the Big Mac. It worked wonderfully. Oh my God, that looks amazing. Well, through all that work, there it is, the metal Big Mac. Wow, that came out much better than expected. I'm gonna go ahead and polish her up, cut off this piece and whatnot, and I'll show you guys the final product. Wow. Well, here is the final Big Mac and it came out great. Solid piece of aluminum, cut a lot of detail. You can even see the layer lines in the cast. So this cast got a lot of detail, which is awesome. And this thing's really cool. It's gonna be a good piece for my room. So anyway, next video, I have um, more of a goofy video. It's gonna be dealing with the Big Mac, cause as you guys saw, I did not eat the Big Mac. I still have it and I am preparing something great for it. So stay tuned for next video to watch that. And yeah, hope you guys have a good day.
and enjoy.